Yo guys, what's up? What's going on? In this tutorial, we will show you how to troubleshoot the issue of agent not appearing on the screen and the game loading after the first round in Valorant. This issue can be caused by a number of factors including problem with the game client, graphic drivers or hardware. We will walk you through a series of steps to try to identify and fix the problem. But uh, let me highlight a most important thing. So. Uh, we have seen this issue on low end PC and like 80% people are facing these issues on low end PC. What you can do here, the first thing we will do here, first of all, make sure update your windows. That's more important as always know the first thing you should do is check for any updates in the game or your hardware or software. Outdated drivers or software can sometimes cause compatibility issues to check for updates, open the game client and click on the gear icon in the top uh, right corner select check for updates from the menu if there are any update available install them and restart your game but first uh, go here into the windows update and make sure check for the windows update and as well as we need to update the drivers so just type here the device manager once you go over there now make sure a lot of people even don't know that they have external gpu and they are using still the internal gpu so what i'm recommending go with the external gpu just update it and if you are using any internal gpu make sure disable it and restart your pc sometimes this problem really solve the problems so just do it first or you can one uh, one more thing you can do here just go into the nvidia control panel there's the best setting i guess it's available in amd as well i don't know about uh, amd i'm not friendly with amd but uh, in a, uh, nvidia you can go here con figure sorted or physics so here you can see physics uh, settings select here your gpu the external one and hit apply so now this will work uh, the default gpu okay one more thing you can do here just go into the uefi setting which means bios settings and select the primary gpu as your external gpu this will solve your issue once you have done this just close it and close it now one more thing you can go here in ms config and in the system configuration go into the boot section go into the advanced number of process hit and hit ok and there is another video on my youtube channel link is mentioned in the description just go ahead watch that video that is something like specifically for uh, gaming purpose so it will allow your cpu to like providing you the full performance of your cpu on your game so watch that video link is mentioned in the description now go into the services hide all microsoft services just uncheck all the unnecessary services don't uncheck vgc or steam if you are the steam player or the vgc vgc actually the vanguard service so don't check these services otherwise you can uncheck every service for better load up speed and also go here into the task manager startup and make sure disable all the programs from here these programs actually boot up with your operating system so later on you can just run these programs if needed otherwise just uh, disable these programs only enable the vanguard train notification and windows security it's actually important so just yeah that's it now after doing this if you are using the hard disk for valorant it's important to defragment it for better performance so um this is my ssd and other than these drivers are like hard disk drivers so just go into the properties then go into the tools then optimize and here you can see optimize first you need to select your driver then analyze and after analyzing just click on optimize it will take a few seconds or minutes depending on your storage and the hard disk speed and yeah that's it after doing this your problem definitely will be boosted up now after doing this one more thing you can do here just uh, type here the services once you go over there now find here the sysmin now actually the sysmin servers sometimes it's improved the performance and at the same time in a lot of cases a lot of people were saying that it's just slow down your pc as you can see i just disabled this might be um in your case it will slow down your pc but you need to like test it by yourself 
first disable it and try out restart your pc and try out the game if it's working that's good if it's not working then make sure to set it on automatic again and hit ok yeah that's it ok after doing this the game verification which is important now search here for right client and open it now we will verify the integrity of the game files verify the integrity of the game files we'll check for any corrupted or missing files and replace them if necessary to verify the integrity of the game files open the right client games client and select valorant so here is the valorant we will go you can simply go here into the settings once you go over there you need to select here the valorant make sure check this option enable auto update once you check this now click on the repair if you are faced you are getting this option your game is up to date your game is good to go no repair is needed that's good just close it remember one more step you can just apply this as well go into the user and then you need to go here into the uh, user that you are using currently now just put here the vertical slash and type here the app data now a lot of people don't know how to use the vertical slash you can just copy it from here or just windows plus r key to run the command prompt dialog box and type here the percentage local app data percentage and then hit enter all right once you over here now simply find here the valorant folder and delete this folder after deleting this folder now your accounts are logged out so you can just uh, your all the configuration related to your pc is resetted you can just re-log in your valorant account and try to play your game hopefully your problem should be fixed now if still you are facing this issue then restart the game if the problem persists after trying the above steps you may need to reinstall the game this will remove all of your game files and settings so make sure to back them up before you start to restart the game open the right games client and select valorant click on the uninstall before and follow the prompt once the game is uninstalled download and reinstall it again so i guess revo is the best uh, for this just open the revo first you need to uninstall the uh right vanguard it's important and then you can uninstall the valorant one by one after doing this now the last step contact riot games port if you have tried all of the above steps and the problem still persists then you will need to contact riot games port for further assistance they will be able to help you troubleshoot the problem and find a solution actually they are working already on this situation but more request means getting more faster solutions so just do it for yourself and for others we hope this tutorial has been helpful if you have any further question please leave a comment below